Hey there beautiful people, what's going on? How are you doing? So today I'm doing six perfume reviews uh, in a row, uh, same day uh, in a row, no pause. And these are all Saifi Bhai's perfume. Thank you so much Saifi Bhai once again. He has amazing collection. He has been collecting uh, on incredible pace. So also Nafis Bhai, his uh, brother. So both of them, they lend me perfumes and very supportive in the community as well. One of the two of the most busy guys in uh, Prakcom. So I really have respect and love for both of you. Thank you so much, Ivy Bhai, for your bottle courtesy. So let's review one of my most favorite perfume. Uh, if you ask me in last six years, how many perfumes that I really fell in love with? Many, no problem. But there's some fragrances, I think they were uh, memorable, you know. Uh, what I mean by memorable, they are like they were so special, they did not get lost in time. Even if initial love, it continued. And this one of the perfumes, it really impressed me. You know, I really wanted to buy this bottle, but somehow I didn't end up buying it. And I'm glad Saivi by did. So today we're going to be looking at Inicio perfumes. I think this is Atomic Rose. This is a test rate on it. Very simplistic, minimalist presentation. But from this house, uh, there are a lot of great fragrances. I do love a few ones. Uh, the white one, I forget the names, I'm sorry. Uh, Inicio, uh, anyway, some of them that's one that want to smell like Spice Bomb but better. Other one was similar to Leighton but better. You know the ones I'm talking about. I'm not, <coughs> I don't own anything, that's why I don't remember. So basically the tester packaging, you don't get the full box or packet. You just get a tester box like that. And the bottle looks like this, this is a 90ml, okay. Uh, some might say this one, they don't find that attractive, but I do think it looks premium. Same house that produces Parfum de Marley as far as I know, okay. So 90 mil, uh, a little bit painful for me. I think 100 ml would be nice, but it could have been easily 60 mil. So 90 is better than 60. So it says uh, Atomic Rose. Uh, so they say the main notes are Italian bergamot, pink pepper, uh, natural Bulgarian rose, natural Turkish rose, uh, natural Egyptian jasmine, and vanilla Madagascar. Okay, and it says tester, not for sale. So this perfume, and I think, you know, like it does have a niche property about it. It does look very neat, very, very nice sort of a, uh, purple color bottle reminds me of a velvet orchid bottle so uh, the fragrance i have it on the paper but this one you really i'll tell you one thing if you want to try this perfume try it on your skin do not try it on the paper paper it seems very lost ambiguous ambiguous and uh, kind of like a not the full uh, beauty of the perfume will be uh, on the paper the moment you put it on the skin then you see how the magic develops it's a magical perfume let me rate it 10 out of 10 first and then i'll tell you why it's 10 out of 10. Um, this fragrance despite being a rose perfume i'm not very big on rose okay i do love some rose but after a while you know i don't i find them to be a bit choking or let's say more than words you know i do love cartier declaration don't soir i do love some of the roses but um, this fragrance reminds me highly of delina but parfum de marley same house again uh, market towards women but the moment i saw the name atomic rose uh, one of my brothers ali bhai told me i love that perfume i sprayed it on my hand once and would you like to take a sniff after eight hours i can still detect it i said okay and i smelled his hand wrist it was pretty much there it was beautiful even the dried one was far dried one was beautiful so there are three stages in this perfume the opening it just blows you away it's such a beautiful beautiful opening it's sweet and then the two kind of roses turkish and bulgarian rose it's like little bit jammy at the same time it's very playful citrusy kind of rose and then the vanilla madagascar vanilla it's just lovely if you ask me out of this and delina both are lovely delina exclusive is equivalent to this not the regular delina okay to my uh, nose uh, this is one of the best perfumes from this house that i sniffed from the ones that i sniffed and if you really ask me if it's worth the money this one is not wood for greatness wood for greatness is just no no not not for me sorry but this one right here it's an absolute gem. <clears throat> yes, it has that familiar, like feminine little bit vibe, but do not let it stop you. Like say, oh, this is rose, this is a bit uh, kind of like women-like, you know, I may not enjoy it. You'll enjoy it, trust me. The pink pepper in this, it's very playful, it's mouth-watering. And the whole uh, uh, idea of fragrances being uh, feminine or like, you know, for men, you know, I hate that. Not hate, I don't hate is a strong word, but I'm not a very big fan of... Uh, labeling fragrances for women you know like it's like you eat this uh, you cannot eat this okay so it's kind of uh, rubbish <laughs> to my in my humble opinion it's kind of like ridiculous you know so this perfume should be for all uh, the price range is very high on this i mean if you buy a full packaging it's gonna cost you well over 200 dollars 
and some some of you might say I should get Delina. Delina also expensive, but something special about this. You know, there's something like Delina, Delina exclusive, and then Atomic Rose, and that's how I rank them. Absolute masterpiece. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna make it too long for you. I leave it up to you. Uh, if possible, get a sample or sniff it from your friend. Uh, I think this fragrance, even if you do not like rose, you will absolutely love it. It's beautiful, gourmand. It's a delicacy. It's absolutely, you just want to eat your arm up. If you have it on your hand, you go like, oh, you know, that good. So yeah, Atomic Rose, I love the name. It's like, uh, <coughs> sorry, it's like a very uh, entertaining name, okay? And it does actually deliver. 10 out of 10 for Atomic Rose. Thank you, Saifi Bai, for your beautiful bottle courtesy. Time to move on to the next review. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.